Hello everybody and welcome back to the plot world. In the 10,000 subscriber special we were visiting this and by now you guys were super active on here. If we just take a look into the top list there are 20 people online right now and that is currently the maximum of people that the server can handle apparently. But we are working on changing uh, this. We want to upgrade the server and if you want to help us with then uh, feel free to but we will get a way better server. And uh, yeah, so today I want to show you some things here on the server that I thought you might be interested in. And if you like this, then I will record uh, more often here and show you on Saturday sometimes something of this world too instead of the seed finder. And uh, the first thing that I want to show you today is um, a bit of the mechanic behind the server. I want to show you something that the brain does and how the plot claiming works because this might be interesting. It could be quite technical but uh, still I think that you might be interested in this. So what we are actually doing here with these command blocks, um, don't look at the blocks here changing, you will get headaches from this. But um, yeah, this is uh, the heart of the server. That's where everything gets processed. And um, then there is one part that you can't see here, which is at the plots. So let me fly over to one of the plots and then you might be able to see. I don't know, it's quite dark here, but right here there's an armor stand. And this armor stand here uh, stores all the information for the plot that is needed. It stores who the owner is, it stores uh, if it's public or private. And with this armor stand here we can... Uh, then control the plot up here so we can control who is able to build on here and who's not. And uh, the way we do this is actually quite simple because, um, let me get a book and then I can uh, quickly show it to you. Uh, I guess it's writable book. Yes it is. So uh, what we are doing is a calculation. There's math behind it. Uh, as simple as that. Um, each player has a plot number. And uh, let's say my plot number is 10. And each armor stand underneath the plot has a plot number 2. And uh, this would uh, of course change when I go around. I will be on another plot and then there will be another plot number. And uh, let's say the plot number of this plot here is 9. So then I'm doing a calculation. I'm doing the plot number of myself minus the plot number of the player uh, of the plot. And so 10 minus 9 is equal to uh, yeah, 1, of course. And uh, now the server detects that 1 is not 0. And only if this number here, the 1, is uh, 0, um, it is my plot. So if the plot number is 10 instead, I would do 10 minus 10, which is equal to 0. And then the server sees, oh, you've got a score of a plot permission of 0, so I will allow you to play. So. Um, that gets stored into a, a score that is named plot permission and uh, that is now zero for me. But now let's say that uh, I want to build on a plot that is public. I, I won't have the plot permission of zero because it's not my plot, it's a plot of somebody else. And uh, then um, what we are doing is uh, there's the plot permission um, also of uh, the plot. So let's uh, say again that we've got the 9 here. So we've got a plot permission of 1 and uh, now the armor stand, I should add player here, the armor stand can also have a plot permission and this is a, a boolean uh, yeah, number so it can be 0 or 1 and if it is uh, set to uh, 1 I don't have permission to build on here because my um, plot permission is 1. Because what we are doing is we are doing the plot permission of the player multiplied with the plot permission of the plot. I forgot to put in the plot here. So uh, now it would be 1 times 1 which is equal to 1. So I don't have the permission to build here. But if the plot permission of the plot is set to 0, I'm doing the calculation 1 times 0 which is equal to 0 and then I've got a plot permission of 0 again the server sees hey this plot permission is 0 so I will allow the uh, player to be uh, here and so I get set to game mode 1. Sounds maybe quite complicated to you but uh, that is what the server does behind here just with one armor stand per plot. And now the cool thing about this is what I really like about the system we don't have to check for any errors we just take always the closest armor stand because if I am over here 
The closest armor stand, whoops, is of course uh, the one in the middle of this plot. And if I stand over here, uh, the closest one is over there in that plot. And it doesn't matter where on this line I am, it will just, um, yeah, set uh, the closest armor stand to um, wherever I am. And then if I cross uh, to the corner here, this is the point where uh, four armor stands would be equal distance. But as soon as I move in one direction, uh, the closest armor stand is always in the middle underneath the plot. And also doesn't matter which height I am because the armor stands are on the same height. So that doesn't get taken into consideration. And so uh, it's a quite neat system to define the size of the plot and also the permissions of the plot. So I think that that is enough technical talk for today. And uh, what I would like to do now is show you something else that I have added uh, to the plot world since we did the special. Uh, it's not a lot, but uh, it's just a little thing right here at spawn in the creative corner. By the way, uh, let me maybe uh, tell you once more, if you want to join the server and want to build on a plot, uh, you will have to read the server rules first and then go to the creative info and do what it tells you. If you step on um, the pressure plate after reading the signs, it will tell you what to do and also the signs will tell you what to do. And so uh, there's no need for asking um, how to get a plot here because everything you will find written down on the signs at spawn. Uh, why can't I see my inventory? Now I can. So what I've added is this little thing here which is uh, Paddy's top three plots. Uh, I just uh, saw a lot of very, very nice plots here. Oh, there's XP. Uh, and so I wanted to have a um, warp here with uh, some very nice plots. And I thought we, we can do a top three here. You can uh, suggest plots which are not yours, uh, of course, to me also in the comments today. Uh, if you're flying around here and you see something really, really awesome, then let me know because I will check it out. Maybe with coordinates too. And uh, I will fly around here quite often too, so we can take a look at plots. And uh, yeah, my top three, the uh, third I have left opened. Why is there a barrier block here? Must have been manual. I guess this one doesn't do anything. Uh, le let me leave it here. So this one um, is still to be done and I will take a look in the comments then today and uh, take a look what you suggest. But I want to show you quickly the top two plots that I've got here. The first one that I want to show you is by uh, Nicholas Fresh Mames and it's a very nice terrain plot. So uh, there won't be only building plots, it can also be redstone plots, which is just amazing uh, work by you guys. And uh, yeah, this plot here is uh, really, really nice and well built. Uh, if we just take a look from up here, um, the building style of this guy is really amazing. Uh, if we just take a look around, let me go to spectator mode so we have an easier time here. Um, we've got uh, so much detail everywhere. And remember, this has all be been done in just one and a half days. So uh, it is Saturday morning for me now. We started the server on uh, Thursday afternoon. And uh, so he was really, really busy. There was nothing here before, just what you can see. Hey, there's an armor stand. What does it say? Going mining, <laughs> yeah. Um, so <laughs> there's even a staircase going down to the mines. Um, I really like to look at this plot and I think that this will be uh, still developing and will be, um, yeah, looking even more awesome with even more detail. And you can find, of course, the warps at spawn, so you can go to these places yourself. And uh, the second one that I want to draw your attention to is um, made by, uh, I guess it was Chris with a something, can't remember the complete name. Here it is, Chris, Chris with E4. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a moon plot. Sounds quite interesting. And uh, this was so far my favorite. Um, let me uh, quickly do something. Let me do replace item entity estet paddy uh, slots armor dot hat. That's better. Now we can breeze. Um, it's a plot on the moon. It would be awesome if we had jump boost here. That would feel so great. I might add this to this plot just for fun. I uh, give people that are on here jump boost um, because then it feels really like the moon. Uh, we've got a uh, moon car over here. Oh, it even has this trails. Uh, take a look what he has done here. This is amazing. 
uh, the car was driving from this landing thing here, which of course comes from the space shuttle. And of course up here, uh, take a look, that's the Earth. Uh, I was a bit confused because uh, this here looks to me uh, like America. Then over here, this is Africa with Europe, I guess. And uh, this is Am uh, America again, isn't it? And again, Africa with Europe. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, it, it's a square, uh, so we can't really expect, uh, oh, all the ice at the North Pole is gone, oh, that's not good, um, this is all here still, but, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the plot instead, um, if we go down into these shafts here, and remember, this was all quartz, uh, we've even got caves, does that do anything? No, oh, it, it does. Oh, oh, nice, <laughs> even redstone here, I like, and then over here, we've got some aliens, which is amazing, uh, they are caught in these little corners, and we can walk around here, oh, what's that, interesting, <laughs> this looks like an alien duck, work in progress, okay, we won't go further, but uh, yeah, this is uh, an amazing work in the first one and a half days <laughs> Other people are checking out the plot too um, But yeah, if you want to suggest other plots uh, to the list there then feel free to but I think that uh, That is it for uh, today's little tour here on the community server um, let me know what you want to see next time if I should go maybe into survival I haven't done this today I was streaming yesterday in the survival world and I might do this uh, from time to time too So twitch.tv slash Petty uh, if you want to follow me there to not miss the streams and also I will tweet it out of course uh, Then you can of course do and uh, you won't miss the streams I might also stream when I'm building here on the server but uh, that's it for today. I hope you, that you enjoyed it. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a very great day.